not going to need these. Okay, I might, I might need them eventually. I don't need them right now. PCIe X1 adapters? Where we're going, we don't need PCIe X1 adapters. It didn't roll off the tongue very well, did it? Hey everybody, this is Alex with the Unboxing Project, and uh, check out this shirt. Look at that. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Anyway, today we're, uh, we're going to take a look at this little guy. Now, it's not a video card, but it's the size of a video card. This is the new RevTech uh, Tiny Motherboard 2.0, something like that. Anyway, so these have been out for a while. Uh, I saw these last year when I first started getting into mining and thought, that's a really cool idea. So it's a, a whole motherboard all in, uh, you know, the form factor of, uh, of a video card, a GPU. So fitting onto some of these rigs and stuff, it just makes sense. It just it fits perfectly. It's even got little, you know, mounting holes for where you want to put it and stuff. So this is the version two. The first one, which I actually have as well, uh, is a little bit different. So let me let me talk about this one first and, and what's changed. So we've got an Intel quad core processor on here now. I think it's a quad core. It's a Celeron. Uh, we've got eight gigs of onboard RAM. Uh, of course, the eight USB 3.0 uh, adapters on the back with a 12 volt six pin plug. Um, this one utilizes a uh, M.2 non NVMe SSD. That's the, the new standard of like uh, was 2280 or 2208. Uh, the, the long one goes in most laptops, right? But this also has on the front a micro SD card reader built on the board, which is freaking sweet because the one that comes, it comes with an SD card, mine did. I got these pre-ordered like a month ago. And this actually is a, uh, it's not gonna focus. It's a Samsung Evo 64 gig micro SD. Wow. Has HDMI on the front, two more USB 3.0s, Looks like a USB 2.0, just a standard USB slot, and then a, a plug-in Ethernet RJ45 plug. And got a button. So I already put one of these on a rig last night. Uh, put it on Soundwave, which is all AMDs. It's got uh, my Vega 64, my two RX 6600 XTs, which I'm a little disappointed about, but. That's another story. And then a, the rest of them are 580s, RX 580s. And uh, I don't know if it's Hive or it's my cards. I don't think it's the board. Um, you know, I've, I've had a couple of overclock issues. I think I'm just pushing it too far on, on some of these cards. I think it's pretty stable now. Um, but every time I'm like, reboot server, it locks up and it won't reboot. reboot and I actually have to physically push the button, which is really annoying. So this specific one, I'm gonna put on Megatron, which is my all in video rig. I've got, currently I've got the new 2060 12 gig. Um, I've got a uh, 3060 Ti non LHR. That's a bad name, pajama. Uh, 2070 Super, and then three 1660 Supers. Not Ti's, I think I said Ti's in the last video. They're Supers. And then I've also got two more 1660 Supers to go in there with it. So that's eight, that's eight. All right, so this one is the Gen 1, which um, I, I, like I said, it came out a while ago. I know I saw it last year. I don't know if it came out well before that, but I'm talking early in the year, like March. Uh, I saw these and they were sold out by the time I was able to get to one. Well, unless you want to pay stupid money on eBay. Uh, anyway, this is the the first generation that I'm aware of of these. This is an AMD 
A6 CPU or APU has four gigs of GDDR3, which I didn't mention. The other one is GDDR4. Uh, you know, the eight USB ports, uh, 12 volt, six pin adapter. This one also takes an M.2 SATA SSD, but it's one of those shorter ones that's, I don't know, hard to find. I don't, I don't know, the, I don't know the form factor number on it, but if you do, leave it in the comment down below. But anyway, it takes that, um, and that's it. There's no micro SD card reader on this, so you can either boot with a USB on the front, um, you know, USB ports, um, or the M.2. Uh, SSD and that's it. This one also has an HDMI output in the front, two more USB 3.0s, uh, a USB 2 it looks like, and an RJ45 Ethernet connector on the front. So this specific one is going to go on uh, my Starscream rig, which is all AMD, all, all 570s and one 480, I think. Something like that. A little YouTube magic, we'll get it taken apart in the shop. That didn't work. How about now? Uh, three, two, one, go! Hey, that worked. All right, so here we are. This is uh, Starscream, my all NVIDIA rig and got these monstrous fans on the front. So we are gonna be getting rid of this guy right here uh, and, and getting the, you know, all-in-one motherboard in place instead, which is gonna be sweet. It's gonna save quite a bit of power uh, and a lot of room, a lot of room. Got my, uh, my good old 1200 watt uh, HP power supply. And of course, just my luck. Uh, I didn't think these boards were gonna ship anytime soon because, you know, slow boat from China and all that. But, uh, so I got a bunch of these breakout boards from Parallel Miner that have the 24 pin on board with uh, an adapter for Molex to SATA. So it's got 16 uh, 12 volt pins on it and it's got the fan headers. Uh, it's, it's an all-in-one, you know, replacement of you know, an ATX style power supply for a traditional motherboard. But because since I'm getting away from it, I'm just gonna end up using these for the six pin outputs. I'm gonna go ahead and take apart this bad mama and uh, get this other board installed. So I'll see you in a minute. Sit rep. Uh, I've got the board installed and all the cards and it's way too late at night for me to do any more of this video for now but um how do i get to the power button without losing a finger shit so you can probably tell that it's not the same day different shirt this thing killed me I really tried to get this thing mining last night, up and going, finish this video, get it edited, yada yadas. Yeah, that didn't happen. There we go, up and running. Can't get these fans to turn, but we'll figure that out later. It's like 40 something degrees out here, so I'm not that worried about it. But uh, it's all on, and it's running. <sighs> Well, yeah, so this new, this new board here specifically says, where is it at? OS support, all these, right? I've got it mining on, on uh, what is it? Soundwave has eight, uh, all AMD cards. So I've got uh, my Vega 64, two 6600 XTs. And then the rest are 580s. <clears throat> Fired it up, worked great. I got a couple of errors here and there, um, but for the most part, yeah, like this, every once in a while I'll get a CPU is dead error, but it keeps on mining. 
this is right now it's turned off and uh, so I took some screenshots that it's kind of weird you can see what the uh, card was registered as but I was getting failures there's no overclock um, and I, I kept getting this NV tool error NV tool 12 when trying to plug NVIDIA cards in uh, I downgraded I downgraded the NVIDIA driver to 460, 450, uh, a couple generations back, a couple iterations back, and it did start mining and was working, but it would freak out and restart every couple of minutes. This video has already gotten super long. I'm just going to end it here. Uh, I'm going to keep working on this, of course, trying to get my rig up and going uh, full of um, NVIDIA cards. I mean, I'm only, I'm missing out on like, I don't know, 250, 300, somewhere around there. I don't know. I just added two 1660s to it. So I'm excited to get it back up and mining again. But that's the, uh, RevTech board, the new version two or Intel RevTech board is what I've been referring to it as instead of just the old school. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think about the video, about the content, about my mining setups. Um, uh, if you like the video, like this content, you know, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, dingling the dingling bell, and uh, thanks for watching.